In 2018, more people died from drug overdoses than car crashes, gun deaths, and the whole 20 years of the Vietnam War. Now I might be wondering, why haven't we been able to mitigate this mess? Before we can start talking about the opiate epidemic and how to solve it, we need to first understand the science behind it. And that's what we're going to talk about today. There are hundreds of receptors on our skin detecting pain that send pain signals up a pathway to the brain. These signals are a mixture of electrical and chemical signals transmitted through the cells and nervous system called neurons. Neurons don't actually touch each other when they send signals. Instead, they send chemicals called neurotransmitters across the synapse where they cause an electrical signal in the receiving neuron, and the cycle repeats over and over again. Imagine you just went to Disneyland and ate all the cotton candy to park and enrolled slash more than 10 times without going in line. I bet you're feeling pretty good right now. Physically, you're having a rush of dopamine, the neurotransmitter that deals primarily with making you feel good. This is the same for opioids and other types of drugs. In conclusion, opioids do two things. First, they reduce the amount of pain someone feels by inhibiting the pathways that send pain signals up to the brain. Second, they make the body feel better by increasing dopamine levels and pathways that go down from the brain to the affected area. Opioids block dopamine inhibitors, meaning there's nothing stopping dopamine from completely flooding the synapse. So how exactly do opioids change the actions of neurons and neurotransmitters? Well, they attach to special receptors at the axon terminal. But you might be wondering, why would humans even have opioid receptors? You might be surprised to learn that our body produces natural or endogenous opioids. They're produced out of the body to suppress pain. There are three main types of endogenous opioids, dynorphines, encaphalins, and endorphins. There's also three main types of opioid receptors, mu receptors, delta receptors, and kappa receptors. They work sort of like a key in a lock. Opioids are the key that fit into the lock perfectly. As you just increase bit by bit, you start experiencing more extreme side effects, which could be fatal. In fact, respiratory depression Fans for not being able to breathe is one of the main causes for opioid overdose deaths. The reason people become gradually tolerant, which is arguably the most dangerous side effect, is because the body adjusts to increase dopamine levels and the number of opioid receptors decrease, requiring the use of more opioids. There are currently three types of medication to treat opioid addiction and overdose. Naloxone is commonly administered during an overdose to immediately reverse its effects. It works by blocking the opioid receptors I talked about previously and preventing opioids from binding. Buprenorphine and methadone are more long-term solutions. They produce a limited high, less than that of heroin or prescription drugs to help decrease cravings. Remember kids, stay away from drugs. I'm Claire, and thank you for watching.